We're wrapping up our farm to table unit in pre-K. Here are some of the activities we did. Our awesome school librarian pulled a stack of books all related to the theme and they were in Spanish. For writing time, we wrote about everything in our journals from the new fruit we were trying, food our mom cooks, our favorite food, and even sequencing from our favorite read aloud. In math, it was all about data collection and counting. Here we were creating a picture graph. We also had a hands-on graph using our little bear counters. Earlier this week, I had reached out to my parents to send in any fruits and we got everything from watermelon, strawberry, dragon fruit, blueberries, pineapple, corn, and so much more. We all got the opportunity to try these new fruits and discuss whether we liked it or not. And connecting it back to math, we used tally marks to collect our data and organize it by the friends who did and did not like the fruit. For science time, our main focus was the life cycle of a plant. So every time we were trying a new fruit, I would also connect it to our science lesson. I would show students a time-lapse video of that fruit being grown. We would review the life cycle of a plant and also compare the fruits that grow on a tree, the ones that grow in plants, and the ones that grow in the dirt with the roots. And of course, it couldn't be a plant unit without trying to grow something in the classroom. Since we eat breakfast in the classroom, we did some recycling and I told all the students to hold on to the milk carton and then I just made sure to rinse those. After they were all clean and dry, we trimmed the top so they wouldn't be too tall. We then filled all their little milk cartons with potting soil, made sure it was wet and added some grass seeds. Students will finish off the unit by making daily observations of their plant and recording what they see. So y'all cross your fingers for me and hope that something actually grows because I am not one with the green thumb. So we'll see, maybe I'll do a part two and show you, um, hopefully not a fail.